Yes, household systems. Um, something we don't think about. We talk a lot about decluttering, but there's a secondary portion of living a streamlined life, and that is to have some systems that help you use your things to do the things you want to do. Sorry, I just realized everything is a little wonky in my on my desk and in my room and my chair and everything's a little wonky right now. Okay, so systems. I have a system for doing these lives. It's just not going smoothly lately. Um, but let's talk about the five systems. And, and really, I talk systems because systems are what set you free. It saves you time and energy. And it's kind of what makes life run smoothly when you have some systems. And often I find my clients don't so much think in systems. They think about, I have the stuff, but not how they're going to use the stuff, how they're going to replenish the stuff, how they're going to adjust the stuff when things change in some form or fashion. So a system is a few different pieces. It is the um, actual defining where something will take place. It is defining the tools that you will use to do that action. And then it is the actual steps that cause that action to end up with a result, right? So it's really easy to say, I've got a whole bunch of clutter in my kitchen. There's stuff everywhere. Things don't ever get put away. But until you've thought through all the steps in the process of running a kitchen, it's really hard to get the whole family on board of what that means when you say clean up. Um, if they don't know what the system is, they can't use the system to do what you want them to do. So think about it. Let's just take a let me let me actually tell you the five different essential systems I see in every household. Um, that just taking care of those five, there's others, but the five that create the most clutter. It's kitchen and pantry, not having a well thought out process for dealing with your kitchen and your pantry. The next one would be your wardrobe. How are you gonna take care of your clothes and laundry so that you can get dressed and participate out in the world? The third one is linens and cleaning. And I know it might seem like a little bit of a weird um, combo, but linens are actually part of the cleaning process. Sometimes it's of you, sometimes it's of a space, sometimes it's of things, but cleaning and linens go kind of hand in hand. Um, and then there's the paper and information that comes into our lives. What are you going to do with the paper, the information? How are you going to process it, use it to run your household? And the last one is memorabilia. Everyone has memorabilia. And if you don't think about how you're going to draw boundaries around your memorabilia, or you don't have a place to store your memorabilia that makes it easy to review and reflect and um, remember about it, it's just going to end up as clutter all over the house because it's important to you, but you don't have you haven't designated a spot for where it's going to go and what your process for reviewing and evaluating your memorabilia Billia will be. So those are the five. All of those are included in the Streamline Your Life workshop. But I want to go through one today for you so you can see how it starts to work. Let's go back to that kitchen and pantry. There's a few things that happen, right? In a kitchen, you can define a kitchen space as a place to store, prep, cook, and serve food. And then you got to clean up after yourself. So there's kind of five things that go into running a kitchen, right? And one of those things is the inventory of what goes into the kitchen, the pantry items, the things in the fridge. What are those things? And how are you going to pick what you're going to buy at the store? And how are you going to make it easy to put away? How are you going to know where to put things that come home from the store and what order to use them so they don't expire and you waste a lot of food? And how are you going to know when to replace the things that you have used already? Is that something you're going to do again? Or is it one of those, we tried that recipe and no one actually liked it and that's never happening again situations. Um, having thought through most of these 
kind of scenarios helps you maintain a more orderly and organized kitchen. And it helps you spend less money on food. This is why I can save my clients uh, on average $400 a month just in their kitchen items um, with a little bit of overflow into the pet and cleaning areas, arenas of the house. But think about it. What is going to be your process, the steps when you go to the grocery store? What are going to be the steps when you get home from the grocery store? How are you going to start dinner? How are you going to clean up after dinner? What is the process involved in running your kitchen, right? That's all you have to do. You figure out the space, the tools you need, the process you'll take. And you think that through and then you can iterate from there. You may realize that by planning your meals, you plan your 30 favorite um, family meals, you don't have to search high and low for new recipes all the time. You can always just have those things on hand so that you can create healthy, nutritious meals quickly and almost effortlessly by having those things on hand and knowing the process for prepping those meals. And then you just rinse and repeat. You know, it's so exciting when you find one of those um, Instagram or, or Facebook tools that's like, hey, here's your meal plan for the month. And it's already planned out and there's a shopping list and all that stuff. That's a system. You can implement that in your own home and make things much easier. So in my case, it's just me, but I do have my favorites that I like to have on hand. And I do one big grocery shop a month for all the things that I keep on hand in my pantry that gives me a little bit of variety, but within my favorite 30 recipes that I like to cook. And then I just fill in with the perishables, you know, the milk, the eggs, the, the um, stuff I use up a lot, like coffee. Um, and and um, the produce and things like that come in uh, kind of weekly instead of once a month. But there, everything else is already in the pantry. So I have options between 30 different things that I like to cook within any given month. And by the end of the month, I've used them all up. And so I get to replenish my pantry. And it makes it so much smoother and easier. And I know which pans work best for which things. You get in the habit of chopping things a certain way or combining things a certain way or storing the leftovers in a certain way so that it all works more smoothly. That's what I'm talking about. All right. If this is interesting to you, let me know. If you have any tips for running your kitchen and you want to share them, by all means, put them in the comments. And I will put the link to the workshop, Streamline Your Life, in the comments as well. Um, but it is Streamline Your Life. Um, sorry, let's start that over. Morethanorganized.net slash streamline your life. No spaces, no dashes, just streamline your life. And that will take you to the registration page where you can find all the details of this fabulous 14 week program that'll help you implement the systems, all five essential home systems and um, declutter your house at the same time. So we're going to go all in on streamlining, not just the decluttering part, we're going to set up systems too. Um, all right. So I will see you next week. And in the meantime, don't forget to tell all your friends, like, subscribe, share, whatever you want to do. Um, and in the meantime, have a delightful day.